Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Yesterday on September 23rd, today is September 24th, 2019, the Lord gave me three numbers in the morning. The first one means to sit down, and that is what I'm doing now. I tried doing this yesterday, but I kept being interrupted. The next number meant, the first was to sit down, the second is to bring to light, and make to appear. Third one is splendor, majesty, vigor, and also condemned to death. The Lord is great and powerful. He made the heavens and the earth. The Lord loves his own. Yet hates the wicked. He's angry at the wicked every day. I'm going to give a warning if you watch this video. It's one that I answered on YouTube. Regarding the plague, somebody commented. And she said, I believe this 100% except for the dates. And so I commented. This is what I commented. This is Rosh Hashanah. Is sunset, September 29th through sunset, October 1st. September 30th is midday or noon. I do not set dates. I only share, thus saith the Lord. The Lord told me, hell awaits all those who scoff at the truth. And I did not put those caps. I did not. I typed all of this, and then I saw those caps. And the Lord did that. Hell awaits all those who scoff at the truth. If you are a scoffer, you should not be on my channel. In Jesus' name. Um, and then he also shared these verses. Psalm 91, verse 6. It says, Nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction, sudden death, that lays waste at noon. Exodus 11, 4 and 5. Then Moses says, said, Thus says the Lord, At midnight I am going out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land, the pride, hope, and joy of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne, to the firstborn of the slave girl who is behind the hand mill, and all the firstborn of cattle as well. Okay. So yesterday morning, I told you the Lord wanted me to make known this, this word from him. And this is from the Lord. This is not from me. Okay, September 23rd, 6.42 a.m., Monday. Praise the Lord, ye mountains, where my people shall dwell with me on high. Bless the Lord, O my soul, for great is the Lord as he is majesty and his kingdom will come on earth as it is in heaven. Ye are majesty, as I have called you to greatness, as I soon comfort you with all of heaven's wealth and riches beyond what you can ask or think. You will dwell in my holy mountain with me forever. Together forever is not enough, as I have longed for this day. You have no idea what becomes you. You become me. My glory is in your shame, but you have never shamed me, thus saith the Lord of hosts and King of heaven's armies. You are a mighty warrior and will bring peace on earth. Amen, sister, my sister, my called out one. Bless the name of Elohim, for he has called out of the darkness into the light. Amen. Elohim is the name of power and strength, majesty and and resounding in greatness. His thunder will come, and you will come up. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Praise his holy name. Bless the Lord Almighty, ye kings of the earth. 
He has called you to power. Some have refused, saith the Lord. Ye are a scribe of the Most High, daughter, your grandmother, whose cup we sup. And this is the cup. I have one of these cups. I received it from my grandmother. And one day, Jesus walked in my kitchen holding this cup. He drank from it. And he put it there. Ye are a scribe of the Most High, daughter, your grandmother, whose cup we sup, prayed that you would stand in the presence of kings. A scribe for the president, she said. And ye shall, daughter, ye shall write documents, declarations, and decisions from the Lord of the universe. Thus saith the Lord, you are his mouthpiece, his vessel, his timer. These times will now come. Stand up, be strong. For ye are called and chosen. Amen. Right, daughter, for great is the destruction of those who have not believed. I exist. You have called me. I'm sorry. Right, daughter, for great is the destruction of those who have not believed I exist, who have called me by their own name. Great is the demise of those who are wicked, slothful, and arrogant in their speech. I am coming, says the Lord, and they shall drink from the cup of the wrath of their sins, the sins they have hidden and not called out in Jesus' name. Betrothed ye are to the king of the most blessed name. Y-H-W-H. -H. Amen. Tell them, my daughter, my sister, my bride, who betrothed you, called you out and blessed you. You have praised me, and I shall make you a praise in the earth. Hallelujah, 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 Judah. For heaven is our playground, our rest, and we shall reign together. Amen, amen. He gave me three scriptures, Psalm 20, 1 through 6. Now I'll read this. May the Lord answer you, David, in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob set you securely on high and defend you in battle. May he send you help from his sanctuary, his dwelling place, and support and strengthen you from Zion. May he remember all your meal offerings and accept your burnt offerings, Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. We will sing joyously over your victory, and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Psalms 70, verse 2. Let those be ashamed and humiliated who seek my life. Let them be turned back and humiliated who delight in my hurt. Psalms 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel and conspiracy of the ungodly for the scheming of those who do wrong. At the bottom of the page, after I received this word, I said, Lord, I looked up and I saw, this is the whistle blowing. This is the whistle blowing. Okay, thank you.